Hi everybody. I am I'm not really on camera because I am resting in my jams, but I thought I would go ahead and try to um put this pattern together. This will be the third uh peacock design for the Miro doll 70 centimeter iris. So she's the tall blue gal. I'll maybe put a picture of her right there. And uh so yeah, so I'm going to get this pattern ready. It's um, some long flowing pants and then a top that's like a shirt type top. Well, obviously it's a shirt, but like a shirt jacket, I guess. I don't know what, how you describe it. But anyway, it'll also be patterned for beading. And uh, I thought this would go in connection to, and I'll put a picture of the beaded vest set that's already on the website so these two patterns will be on the website and then the gown which now we'll put um, a picture from the last video of the gown uh, I'm not really quite sure because I want to find out how it's going to work first before I put that one online but these two the peacock and then this one uh, we'll go ahead and put the pattern on and um, yeah, so we'll get this drawn up today, and oh, my toes are saying hello, and uh, we'll get this drawn up today so you'll have a new pattern set to try out uh, if you have that taller gal, and um, yeah, we'll kind of have something new to try and uh, use a, a little bit of our weekend time as we relax to also uh, be productive, so here we go. The paper I'll be using to draft is, I, I bought this off of eBay. I'm sure you could find it on Amazon as well. And it's paper for medical, what do they call it? Medical chair coverage or medical table cover. Um, if you do a search like that, you'll be able to find it. It's just a very thin tissue paper, but it comes in this wonderfully thick roll. And I actually bought two rolls. And I think the both of them, it ended up being like, I don't know, $16 or something like that. But it gives a wonderful, continuous supply of pattern paper that's really nice because I can use my basic set pieces and put them underneath. And it's really easy to see where those lines are for drafting my new patterns. So I have lots of other paper that I also use um, because I do have the light table so I can uh, turn it on and see through even um, heavier papers. But this paper is nice because it is very similar to a regular pattern paper and so it's very easy to draft. You just have to be really careful that when you want to uh, erase something that it's easy to wrinkle so you have to be careful and that um, when you're writing on it uh, don't press too hard because you can tear it um, because it is very very fine paper um, and very thin but it is great for sewing and when you have this much then you can you know copy patterns and trace them on if you don't want to ruin your originals because it's easy to see through and uh, trace those copies so I highly recommend this I just thought I'd try it I'd seen a lot of people talking about it and I wanted to give it a try to see if it's something I would actually recommend and I do it's a nice thin paper uh, for making your patterns and then also for tracing other originals that um, might be too big to go in a copy machine. Um, sometimes you buy patterns and the pieces just they don't really fit <laughs> in your in the glass in your copy machine. So this is kind of a nice way to copy those originals you might not want to cut and preserve them. And uh, yeah, so this is like I say, it was medical table covering paper cover paper or uh, medical chair cover paper. Usually, if you do a search of that, you'll be able to find it. So, there you go. That's what we're going to be using today to draft our pattern.